Morning folks, Friday morning. Hope you're all well. Thank you for your comments and likes as usual. Welcome to your subscribers and hope you enjoyed the uh, majority of the stuff on the 135 yesterday's uh, vid. Yes, headlight. I know and I'll get a new one put in the 1250. Didn't know it was cracked until I put it under the wagon. Never mind. Yes, fish eye, goldfish bowl, dip beam. Yeah. Hey-ho. Things happen, but I'll get it fixed. So, yeah, it's early doors. We just uh, started this one up, <clears throat> put the last of the tools in, check the lights around, everything works. Uh, ready to go off for MOT. And yes, guess what? It's raining again. But it was, it was chucking it down. Uh, just for a change. So, uh, yeah, we've got here this morning, and as I said yesterday, the tyre man's been. He's been and stripped the tyres off of the rims. Obviously, one is completely knackered, which we've got a new one for. Uh, so at least we can get the uh, centres out, bolts out, and get this lot uh, shot blasted at some point, ready to paint, and then the tyres can go back on. Now we're back from MOT, that one passed. A couple of advisories a uh, customer know about, and uh, they can afford to have it done, they'll probably get it done at some point. So, uh, yeah, quick cup of coffee and then go pick up another truck to do an inspection on. So the joys of um, trucks today. And of course, go down there, roads closed, so detours, so it takes a bit longer. Why they gotta dig the roads up everywhere? I can't do a decent job in the first place. Oh well, up here with the next one, cook loader. So yeah, just done the walk round, check the lights before I drive off. So let's get it back, do a brake test on the way and do the rest of it. So we had one marker light that wasn't working, which he'd had it. So we just uh, wired a new one in, so we've got to take that lot there, we've uh, cut into the loom, but that's fixed. Ball joint over there, a little bit of play coming out, so we'll advise that one, but other than that, not looking too bad. For a change. So yeah, one light working that wasn't. The uh, truck's finished, paperwork's done, we'll take it back in a bit. Go try and get the centres out of these wheels, obviously one of them, I think it's that one is, yeah, that one's absolutely, Knackered, as you can see there, he's, uh, he's all split to buggery. But we have a new one, a supply by customer there, to replace that. So we need to get the centres out. And then we can get the uh, centres, that rim, that one, and the two front ones ready for blasting. Whether that happens today, we'll see. We'll get some heat on these and uh, try and get the bolts out. Right, we're all set up here. <laughs> it's still not raining for a change uh, we'll see if we can get these blasted we got the new one in there we'll give that a going over as well uh, there's something else that's done we can probably get painted if i've got enough silver mist left in stock but i'll have to check that but at least uh, we can get them cleaned up well, they're looking a bit cleaner than they were and then we found an issue customers supplied new rim <laughs> can you tell the difference the the width of that uh compared to the bit of that that's a nine inch that's an 11 inch so we've been on the phone we've got another one come in and that's going to go back to agriline which is where it come from but the customer bought that himself so all sorted so i won't rush the paint nose because i'm going to do all of it in one go so i think i'll do for today because it kind of peed on my fireworks Right, folks, so that'll have to do for today. <clears throat> Not sorry, it's uh, been truck stuff this morning, but gotta do what you gotta do. So, uh, yeah, I'm trying to hold my phone, I've got me bagging me on there. So, yeah, nothing on that today, but at least we got that sorted and some other work. So, let's go and uh, have the proverbial Friday afternoon, evening, beer o'clock. We'll see what happens tomorrow. So, till then, laters. Morning, everyone, Saturday morning. Gotta get this strapped on and secure it, ready for Monday. So they got MOT. So uh, we'll fish out what straps we got. And uh, yeah, get her secure. Yes, I haven't done the headlight yet. Where is it? Oh, uh, that one there. I thought I had one in store, but I haven't. But I'll have another route round. If I have, I'll get it changed. So uh, yeah, it, it's got some water in it. Oh well. Well, that's her on. We've got six straps on there. Shouldn't go anywhere. 
crisscross, forwards, backwards, over the back. So, let's go have a route around and see if we can find this headlight. It's bugging me that. Oh, I did find them. That's the wrong one. That's the right one. But yeah, I'll see uh, the lens got cracked. I don't know, when I tighten the screws up too much and oh, who knows, but we have another replacement to go in there, make it look better. Here we go. Is everybody happy now? I fixed it. Nice shiny new headlight in there. So it's not crying anymore. It's only going for a little ride. He's not going anywhere special, just taking this truck for MOT. So a little joyride for the day. That's all she's doing. <laughs> well, I just had my neighbour turn up, one that does the uh, the nuts, Philbert's fine foods. He's brought his um, battery charger off for his forklift, which the ends of the cables have had it. So we're going to uh, cut them off, melt the solder, and see if we can uh, fix them for him. Whether I do it today, I'll have a look, have a tinker, see what happens. Well, if you ask me, the size of the cable on this, probably a Chinesium thing. It's rather small. It looks big cable, but then there's a plastic sheath over the plastic sheath. So I've doubled the end of that over. I've done the one, but I am going to, um, I'm going to have a punch and squat that together as well. So yeah, fill that up with the solder. We'll get that melted. Then we'll shove that in the hole. I'll say that one's done and on. I've got to clean that bit of solder off there, but quite an easy fix, really. Uh, all done and sorted, taped up, good to go back. Now, do I do anything on this and run the risk of getting in trouble? Or leave it and find something else to do for a bit. Hmm. Question, shall I, shan't I? Well, I suppose I could see if I can get uh, get those screws out on the brakes. We'll give it a go. Looks like that one there. Somebody's had a go at this one before. It looks a little bit, a little bit butchered. We'll put a bit of squirty on there. We'll give it a good clout with a hammer and see if it all the... Uh, See if it'll come out. <clears throat> right, we have a big chisel. Let's put it in there, give it a load of clay first. Oh, look at that. It's actually coming undone. That's a result. <clears throat> Well, that went better than expected, but it's out. Is that going to come off? Probably not. Oh, there's a bit of movement. Oh, does help. Got another screw. <laughs> there's two in there. We like it. It's coming apart. What more could one ask for? That's the second one out. Oh, it's coming off. Hey! Well, they don't look too bad. I think a good clean up. We've got um, no uh, no sign of any oil leaks here. It's all dry dirt. So I think a good clean up on that. We should be, uh, get away with that. Let's we'll strip it down, give it a good clean up, put it back together. So yeah, that's gone right. We'll try the other side, see if we can get the one off the other side next. So, a bit of dust in nest in there let's give this one a clay see what happens Coming 
I'm going to be in so much trouble for doing this. Never mind. Result. Two out. a bit tight to arm there. It's coming. Plenty of lining left on that one. I think a good clean up. We don't need to go any further into that. But yeah, that was worth doing. I'm gonna be in so much trouble. <laughs> oh well. Right, so we got the uh, shoes off of this side and we can give it a good clean up now. So as always, make sure you've got a handy tub you can put all your small bits in because you don't want to lose anything. So we've got everything off here. Shoes off, springs off, plate adjuster I'll have a good clean and make sure it's uh, freed up for adjustment so we can give this lot a good white brain get the hoover in there get all the rubbish out of it so yeah one side apart well that's had a good clean up almost looking like new I to say there's no uh, no evidence of oil leaks around that hub because that was all just it was just dry dirt in there so that's had a good a good scrub up, a good clean up. We'll, uh, we'll get the threads cleaned up, get a wire brush on the go on there, on the studs, and get the crap out in that. But back plate, all in good order. And across the uh, shaft there for the actuation on the brakes. No sign of wear on that at all. And I say, the shoes themselves, I don't think we'll worry about replacing those. They can go again, because there's plenty of meat left on them. Just want a good clear up, clean up. Uh, um, yeah, handy bit of work done. At least it's come apart without anything breaking or getting mullered up and chewed up. A bit there. I've got my, my neighbour here now. Mr. the video. <laughs> <laughs> with his Land Rover. Yeah. Look at this. Held together with a bit of string. string. Yeah. Yeah. Typical. Yeah, so oh, we just need to get something a little bit more robust. Yeah, you could have cleaned it. Well, I just come back from. Look, I did. You got all. dirty. You've actually look, done something. You got oh, dirty hands. Up. Come here, let me. About time, you, about time you did some work. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Got to get me tissue. Oh yeah, look, dear, look. what a <laughs> shame. Yeah. yeah. Well, you fixed it anyway, so it's, it's you know it a farmer perfect. fix. It's a farmer perfect. fix. Yeah. Brilliant. Perfect. Yeah. What more do you want? Because they got some brackets coming off from the yeah. See, I've just come up with a cunning plan. See, you've got some nice checker plate there. <laughs> I can get some nice checker plate and make a bit fit. Is this going to make us all money? Yeah, <laughs> fit, fit in there, fold it underneath and re-bolt it. Yeah. And it will match that. Yeah. Well, not will match you, it won't be you. <laughs> <laughs> Things i got to put up with. Right, well, i better not do any more on this today. I think I shall head on home now and uh, catch up on a bit more paperwork and uh, have a quiet afternoon. Back here in the morning, sort of a few more bits out. So, uh, as always, thanks for watching. Give us a share. Click the old like, subscribe, help us out. Much appreciated. And uh, yeah, anyone with uh, 1200, 1250, keep your emails coming. I had another one this week and I had an email from a guy in France looking for some parts. So, see if we can help him out for his 1200. Uh, yeah, we've got some bits in stock that he's looking for, so hopefully uh, we can get him up and running soon. So until later, as later, have a good weekend, and we'll see you on Tuesday. So until then, laters. <laughs>